Chevalier. What happened to your vessel? I got myself into a bit of a scrape. Sent three ship in all hand to their watery grave. We Giafu nearly followed them down. Just your fate has been better, Le Chasseur. Indeed. My sources inform me that Samuel Smith has searched far and wide, looking for answers on how to make that strange box work. He just returned from Europe. Where is he now? Refitting his schooner. If you hurry, you can catch him there. Oh, remember those blueprints? Well, I had an engineer build that marvelous weapon for your ship. Master Pucker's gun fires more shots than an artillery brigade, and twice as fast. Many thanks. Anything for my hooded friends. Captain, I will join you on this voyage. Then shall we, gentlemen? You are in a jovial mood, she? Why shouldn't I be? I have a new weapon, and will soon have a chance to use it. Besides, Templars are usually well guarded, and I'm sure that Smith fellow is no exception. He also took the liberty of ordering some improvements. The Morgan now has a ram that cut through ice itself. I have heard of such technology, but never witnessed its operation. What about Smith, then? Is he close by? Aye. He sails his very waters. And he may have the precursor box. Then let's find him. There he is! Most fortunate timing! Lady Luck never ceases to smile on you. He's seen us! Give chase! But hold your fire! Can't this bucket go any faster? At least my ship is still seaworthy, Chevalier. Fire! Fire! What he's doing in these waters is beyond me. Maybe he came here to meet someone. Or rather to your pirates. He's refitting his ship. If one of my allies attacked me, I would have known about it. Well, he... From a long voyage. A chance to get him. Smith controls most of the Templars' wares, doesn't he? He came out of the way. Washington entrusted the precursor box to him. He probably still has it. Shay's right. The box comes first. So we can't sink him. We'll have to board his ship or force him to beach. Look, Cap. He's cutting through the ice. It seems you're not the only one equipped with such a ram, Shay. Let us hope ours fares just as well. It worked. The way is clear. Now, uh, once more, your fortune holds. But do not waste time congratulating yourself. Smith is getting away. It's an ambush. Off where you sit, you have enough air. Smith must not escape.
don't see Smith's ship. Let's get rid of these distractions first. We'll find them. Still within reach. Tactic. They can cover whole stretches of ocean with their flames. Careful, Shay. We could be burnt to cinders. It's nothing more than a last desperate throw of the dice. He knows we have him. Now we know where he was headed. Parson has an encampment here. Follow him on land. Do not even think of firing the ship's weapons near that precious box. I'll take care of this. Headed. Barson has an encampment here. Follow him on land. Do not even think of firing the ship's weapons near that precious box. I'll take care of this. No! 
Do you even know what that is? An ancient artifact. Treasure from those who came before. Yes. It matters not. <coughs> Some of the greatest scientific minds of all Europe could not make it work. <coughs> now all I need is the manuscript, and all shall be revealed. You're here. Congress is still in session. George Washington and his militia have fired on French troops under Jumonville. The French are calling it an act of war. George Washington. You mean Lawrence's younger brother? Yeah, it's the same. I'm speaking of Lawrence Washington. But you eliminated him. James Wardrop has moved up in ranks. All the Templar resources are at his disposal now. What about the manuscript? My sources in New York confirm that Wardrop has it. I also learned that he is here at the Congress under heavy guard. Shay, find Wardrobe. Get that manuscript. This place is thick with Templar troops. Liam and I will make sure he doesn't escape. That must be the Templar William Johnson. Perhaps he has the manuscript, or knows where it is. As I have stated previously, I believe we need a national union, granted by an act of parliament, but bringing greater independence to our colonies. The French are an immediate threat, and we are ill-prepared to face them. To put it bluntly, the colonies must join. 
or die. A rousing speech, Master Franklin. But do you truly believe Great Britain will grant our colonies autonomy? They have little choice, Master Johnson. You know the remoteness of this frontier better than most. Yes. But let us leave politics for another day. I wanted to thank you for your research. Of course. Of course. In the brief time I could examine that box, I could tell it was something unique. From ancient Egypt, you said? Well, as I mentioned in my letter, I am quite ready to electrify it. Excellent. We will have the box delivered shortly. As for the manuscript... Captain? I apologize, sir. But Master Wardrop refused to hand it over. He said the risks were too great. The risks? Ah. I apologize. You will have the manuscript and the box in the briefest of delays. You mange the excuse for a uniform. Run to Fort Frederick and tell Master Wardrop he had better cough up the manuscript post-haste. Else I will have him scalped. I can't let that lobster captain reach Wardrop. Let that lobster captain reach wardrobe. I can't let that lobster captain reach wardrobe.
I'll take that, you Templar dog. No! You have no idea what you're doing, fool! Keeping the people free from your control. How free will you be when the French undermine these squabbling colonies? These colonies would be far better off without the Templars pulling the strings. <laughs> we bring order from chaos. If everything is permitted, no one is safe. Even the devil can quote scripture to suit his own purposes. I've a clear shot! Clear shot on it! I've got a shot! Clear shot! Got a clear shot on it! You're late. The sky is getting temperamental. That's not the only thing, is it? Uh, Master Franklin, sir. My name is Shay, and this is my associate, Hope. Uh, William Johnson told us to give you these. Ah. Thank you, but I'm afraid I must delay my experiment. Delay it? Why? The army confiscated my lightning rods. They are essential to conducting the electricity. I need to vivify your box. Master Johnson would not want you to have to wait. Perhaps there is something you can do, then. Soldiers have been hauling things away all day. Perhaps they could tell you where they've taken my lightning rods so you could get them back. At your service, sir. Begin your investigation at the market near the docks. I will stay here and help with the preparations. This is intolerable. I can barely get done by the
I'm sure you're seeing things, but I'll think of what you See that strange stuff in Benjamin Franklin's garden? I keep well clear of that place. They say that that messes with lightning. Speaking of lightning, I reckon there's a storm coming. Aye, let's hope she endures until we're off duty.
garbage in here today. So that's what I smell. <laughs> Don't laugh. If the commander keeps this up, we'll have a riot on our hands. Well, I'd be mad too if half of what I own was confiscated. It's the iron we need. Most. Tell that to the citizens. You know, I bet not one of them will try to do you now. I wonder what Master Franklin plans to do with these rods. The storm's getting worse. Better hurry back and fight. Jay, thank goodness! Uh, quick! Help me with the rods!
That's a map. Where is that? Portugal. Lisbon, I'd stake my life on it. Make yourself scarce, Shay. The militia will be here any minute. I'm sure they will have questions. What about you? I'm a devoted housekeeper. Right. Feast of all saints. What a sight. And here I am, looking for a relic from the time before Adam and Eve. <laughs> Strange days indeed. Benedictus es, Domine, Deus Universi, quia de tua largitate acepimus vinum. Uo tibi oferimus, fructum vitis et operis manum nominum, ex quo nobis diet potus espiritalis. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Gratia Domini Nostri Iesu Christi, et caritas Dei, et comunicatio Sancti Spiritus, sit cum omnibus bovis.
Precursor site. What do we have here? The artifact. this.
So what's the next city you want me to smite? What happened in Haiti happened in Portugal. A great earthquake. Thousands dead thanks to your damned manuscript. This cannot be. Jay, a person cannot start an earthquake. A person meddling with these precursor machines could. You saw the box, Hope. The temple was filled to bursting with that kind of power. You made me slaughter innocents. How dare you? You defend him? Achilles sent me in there like Makandal sent his man in Haiti. What he the hell is going on? Stop this. The operation was delicate. Perhaps you... You are shifting the earth itself. Who are you to decide what city falls next? Get him out of here. Liam is a fool if he thinks I'll leave this be. Achilles cannot be trusted. He must never find another precursor temple. I don't care that he's mentor, or that his family is dead. There's no excuse for this level of madness. Only one thing to do. There's no turning back now. I had such hopes for you, Shay. Achilles, I have to do this. And what is it you're doing exactly? Stealing from your brothers? Betraying me? Someone must make amends. Make amends? You have no idea what you're doing. The future of the whole continent, maybe the whole world, is tied up in that manuscript. Perhaps. But we don't have the right to decide that future. The right? We have the responsibility! We are responsible for killing innocents and destroying cities. This mad grab for power. It ends now. I will not let you destroy everything we have built! <laughs> Stop him! Stop Shay! Haven't I taught you anything? Ready 
I will not let you run away! Halt! He's getting away! He's climbing and he's everything here! Ready to open fire! Resistance is not to your best interest! Desist! Don't get your hopes up! I'll keep up with you! That's enough! Give back the manuscript, Shay! I'm sure Achilles- I cannot! I will not let this happen again! All those souls lost! One more hardly matters. Shay! 